You know, I am very personally disturbed by the way that obviously I'm being painted this week. Um, I have no expectations that it's going to change. You guys think what you're going to think. But, um, you know, just like when people say things about your relationship back home, they have no idea what they're talking about. And just like when people say things about... Amber's life back home and so on and so forth or whatever. Um, I just think it's gone to a far too personal level. And um, I've actually apologized to Kale and Jen for the manner in which I have behaved towards them at times because I obviously now know what it feels like to probably feel the way they've been feeling for three straight weeks now. And I, I plan on doing the same to Zach. But... Um, All I really want to say is that the sad truth of the matter is that I am exactly who I was the minute that I stepped foot in the door. The way I introduce myself to you and everybody else is the way I am now. Um, I have really done my best to be genuine, be myself, and have real relationships with all of you. And for it to be turned upside on its head like this is pretty difficult. There's nothing I can do about it in the scope of the game. Um, it's a it's a runaway train, and I, I know that. You know, we all know that I'm smart enough to see what's going on. You guys knew I was smart enough to see what was going on. You know, earlier in the week, um, I. <laughs> the only time that the truth in the matter is going to come out is when you guys get to go back and watch it, and I'm not even trying to convince you of what I did or didn't do. You guys have made up your minds of that. Um, nobody has any interest in saving me. I'm not suggesting that they do. But what I am saying is that I've come to you from a good place from day one. We've had our ups and downs. We've had better moments. We've had worse moments. Um, I suppose that the fact that I never had a relationship with Nick, you know, was the final nail in, in the coffin of our relationship, it seems. Um, I didn't think it had to be that way. Um, I know that it, you know, it was very difficult to see him go. I know I was relieved to see him go. Um, but that wasn't anything personal towards you. And I, I, I know, and I want, I want you to know personally where I'm coming from. Um, take personal life out of it. Even take Nick out of it, mm -hmm. out of the whole situation, you know, you're a really, really smart guy, Eric. I, I've been saying that since day, maybe day one, day two to my dad. Eric's a really smart guy. He knows what he's talking about. He's really good with words. He puts his words right. He's probably the biggest threat in this game. I and honestly, that. that's a hands down, Eric. That's a compliment. That is a definite compliment. I perceive you, you are the biggest threat to everyone in this house in this game. And if I'm sure that you know that and that you I realize do know that. that. I, I, listen, and, and it sounds obnoxious to say it, but I know it, and, yeah, and I know and it. I've never tried to deny it. That I'm, is a compliment. I'm a sharp guy. I do know everything there is to know about reality TV. I'm not denying it. Could I have tried to reel it in? Yes, with the truth of about who I am as a person come out ultimately? Of course, you know, I am who I am. You have a conversation with me, you know who I am. So yeah. I understand that. And, you know, from my perspective, um, it wasn't about, you know, splitting up the group or causing division amongst people, you know, Nothing, I, I want you to honestly know, like, if you blame anyone, you should blame me. Because my dad had nothing to do with it. I'm the one who came to him. Um, I have my feelings. I have my opinions. I, you know, whatever. Nor am I trying to change your opinions of how you perceive well, events going down. It's not, I'm not here to try and well, that's why I'm fight saying you put, point for point about no, anything I, that happened. I know, and that's why I said put all of that aside. Right. Like, I want you to know that this... This, and you can take this for what it is, I'm telling you the honest to truth. This is not personal, it's strategic. I, I told, I have told everybody, I told everybody last night a million times, I've told everyone the whole time, I like you, Eric. I think you're a funny guy, I like you being in the house. Everyone likes you, you know, it sucks. Joe's gone, Nick's gone. Why this week? Why now? What did, what did I truly do for the target to go on my back this week? I mean, other than if you truly perceive the events as as you are presenting them, but I think that probably you and I both know that
that there are things that are completely untrue that are being said, things that are true that are being said, and there are half-truths that are being said. There's, it's all a gray area. You know that I didn't do all of the things that are, I am being blamed for. You know that. You know that I didn't cast the votes. Come on. You know I didn't cast the votes. I wanted Nick to leave. I wanted Nick to leave. I wouldn't have risked you, your dad, and Amber voting for him to stay. I, I'm sorry that I wanted him to leave, but I did, and I never made any bones about that. I would not have... I am a smart person. Why in the world would I float a vote? What if you, your dad and Amber had voted for him to stay? He would have stayed and I would have been fucked. You know? <laughs> I did not cast those votes. I didn't put mustard on Jen's but pillow. I, I hate mustard. I wouldn't even touch mustard. <laughs> but at the same time, like this game, Eric, it's there's risky things that you can do in it. And, you know, down there a million times about you, well, what if you're wrong? What if you're wrong? What if you don't have four, four votes? What if you don't? Honestly, I'm sorry, but it's a risk that I'm willing to take because Eric well, is... I understand that. I understand that. But I want... Not that I'm, you even need to sit here and admit this to me, but between you and me sitting here in this room, and you can go tell anyone this, and you cannot tell anyone this, I believe that you know that I did not do all of the things that are being said that I did. I believe that, and I'm not suggesting that you're going to go and try and change this, or you're going to backpedal or frame it other, any other way. I honestly think, though, knowing who I am as a person, knowing the conversations we've had with each other, that you know. And I understand. It's all about scapegoating someone. It's making someone the villain. You guys tried to put the final nail in my coffin last night. I clearly understand that. Um, I, 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 you know, I don't know what to say. You guys didn't have the votes. You probably do now. But how is that my fault? It's not your fault. That's what you're trying to accomplish here. That's what you're trying to accomplish. I understand that. What I don't understand is why it was me, why it was this week, and why it's being framed in the way it's being framed. Because I have been good to you in this game. And... I think the one thing that... But till when? Till next week, Eric? No. Uh, <laughs> you, Danielle, I would, have, I would have been there with you. You, you, you came said, after me. But of you course, said that, now you what said would that I be to me, supposed you said that to, to Amber, you said that to Jen. I, no, that's, I never... Okay, that's, let's just cross that one off the board entirely. I have no relationship with Jen and Kale. Jen caught herself in 50 million lies this week. I don't know what her motivation is for it. You could ask Dustin and Jessica. She blew up her own spot. I don't have a relationship with her. Whether or not she misconstrued something that was said 30 days ago and, and perceived it as such, I can't really help that. I don't have a relationship with Jen. Kale stood up in front of a group of people when your dad called me out on this and said, you know, blame him for whatever you want, and I have no reason to try and save him because I'm going to be up against him, but I do not and never did have an alliance or any relationship with Eric whatsoever. She stood up and said it. I know she did, and I... From, from my perspective, Eric, it's <laughs> last week, to be completely honest, and you know this coming from me personally, nobody else in the house, my perspective and my, just me personally. Last week, what I did was the worst decision that I could have made in this house. Nick had my back until the end. Nick never lied to me in this house. Nick would have never put me up. Nick would have never voted me voted against me ever. I completely believe that. The, wor the worst mistake ever. And it's because I felt so much pressure from everyone in here that there was... I went along with it. It's the stupidest decision ever, but that's fine. You know, it is what it is. I did that, and just like I said, you know, that was the worst decision. If this is a bad decision, I, I know it's not only because, take all that aside, you're the biggest threat in the house, Eric. Well, I understand that, but... So why not? It, we we well, saw Joe as a big threat. I understand Not that. then, but later down the line. No, so why not that. get rid of it when you can? I understand that. I guess what I'm saying to you is, it didn't need to happen now. We could have let the best of the best go at it when it was time for them to happen because I wasn't coming after you. And Nick wasn't coming after you. Well, he told me he was. Well, he wasn't. I, I don't know what his motivation for that was. Do you want me? Can, I, I, I can recount to you the, the reasons why um, I felt threatened by Nick, if, if that would be of interest to you. I don't, if, if you don't care, I, you well, don't care. But I, mean, I know that in the first 10 days, obviously, I was very out of the loop. And I was perceived as someone who was you know, aloof and not talking game with anyone and someone who would be easily expendable. I'm obviously aware of that. Then the following week when Joe went up, I know that deals were offered to try and go after the floaters at that point, which is what I was being considered at that point. Um, and 
you know, I, I have an understanding of that scenario.